Welcome to Kid Missing TV. Today we're going to talk about the case of Joan Gay Croft. Joan disappeared from Woodward, Oklahoma, from the Woodward Hospital. Her mother had been killed, crushed by part of her house, during what turned out to be the deadliest tornado in Oklahoma's history at that point. That's saying something. Because Oklahoma is a big part of Tornado Alley. They have tons of tornadoes. <coughs> Her father was critically injured. Um, he was brought to Oklahoma City, I believe. And her and her sister were brought to the Little Woodward Hospital and put in the basement for triage. They weren't as badly injured, so they were put in the basement. Triage is where they determine who is the sickest, who is the most injured, you know, most seriously injured, and those people are treated first. There's a special nurse that does that. She's called a triage nurse. Because I think the word triage in French is to organize. Or something along that way. Um, if I'm correct, hit me over the head in the comments. Uh, if I'm incorrect, sorry. If my grandmother was here, she'd be able to tell me. <laughs> I love you, Grammy Wilson. And if I'm incorrect, you can reach down and biff me. <laughs> Please don't. That would scare the crap out of me. <laughs> anyway, this little girl was in the basement on a cot. Her sister, her 14-year-old cousin, this little girl was only four. And this happened on April 9th, 1947. Which, I must tell you, was my father's third birthday. Um... <coughs> While they were there, two men in khakis, which is kind of a tan color, um, usually a uniform, with a label on the side. Um, it was said there was a label of some sort on their shirt. Um, came down, picked Joan up, were taking her off, and she said, no, I want to stay with my sister, and she was crying. We'll be back for your sister. They didn't come back. When they got up to the upstairs, the hospital didn't want to let them take her. They thought both of her parents were dead, and they did. They looked, and they saw her dad was alive, and he was in Oklahoma City, and so they let them take her, ostensibly to take her to be with him. She had a stick of some description stuck in the side of her calf that was either... I'm sorry, either the diameter of a pencil or the diameter of a broomstick. Well, those are two fairly different diameters. Um, but different sources say different things. Uh, <clears throat> there were two different women DNA tested. One was named Jean and neither one were her. I think these people were looking for a specific type of child. Some people actually say that they asked for her by name. I don't recall that. This was on Unsolved Mysteries in 1993, by the way. So you might want to check it out. Um, this tornado injured over a thousand people and killed 185. So they brought um, so they took the little girl. Nobody knows where they took her. My guess is she wound up at a hospital in another state and raised by someone else. <coughs> I think she was taken because they were looking for you know a specific type of child. Um, something in uh, an event like that is rife for um, a, for example, Georgia Tan type person to take a child. You know, they, they take these children, they're almost like grocery shopping. Okay, these parents are looking for a blonde-haired, blue-eyed kid. These parents are looking for a brown-eyed kid, you know, whatever. And, and they grocery shop for it, more or less. And I think that's what happened. Um, 
I don't know what the company logo again was on their shirts, but that's how it was described. Um, if you have any information on this case, you can call the Enid Police Department that's next door to Woodward at 1580-242-7000 or the Oklahoma State Bureau of Investigation at 1580-256-1771 or the Woodward Police Department at 1580-256-2280. I'm glad to see this case is being so heavily worked on. Next time we're going to talk about Cindy Lou McLean. She was just two years old when she vanished from Willow River, British Columbia. If you want to get notified when that video goes up, here's what you got to do. Subscribe and hit that bell for all notifications. Please my arm like my video please subscribe hashtag 500 by June ow why do I keep moving my arm um <coughs> thank you for watching um please join me next time have a great rest of your day and God bless you